Lake Nakuru National Park and it is encouraging to meet international tourists here despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Among them is this family of four from British Columbia, Canada. They've been here for holiday since January this year. I came here in uh, December 2007 with my family, about two weeks before the post-election violence. I came back five years ago with my wife for our 25th anniversary. And we actually came to Lake Nakuru uh, Game Park here and enjoyed the park here. It's one of our favorite places in the world. So now we're back the third time. Bell says they decided to stay in Kenya because of many restrictions related to COVID-19 in their home country, among other reasons. Just a lot more freedom here than in Canada. I think a lot less fear here in Kenya. So we're really grateful to be here, but a bit of a challenge to travel. But once you're here, it's great. In uh, Canada, they're preaching a lot of fear and I don't like that. What can you say about how Kenya has handled COVID-19? It looks excellent. Um, I like it that before I go into a store, I check my temperature. Of course, I have a mask on, I sanitize, and it, I'm free to walk around. It's just fine. I don't think we need to do anything else besides that. What made you choose Sarova Lion Hill Game Lodge here in Nakuru. Uh, we had a lot of choices. We were looking at Ambaselli, we were looking at Mara, but uh, Lake Nakuru is our favorite place in Kenya. We'd been to the other lodge before, been to a couple of them here, uh, but we'd never been to Sarova except for dinner. So we thought, let's give it a try and had good ratings. And it's, of course, it's a great place to be. The family has applied for permits to stay. I think actually for Kenya, if they could find a way to, to give people a, maybe like a one year a distance workers permit just to come in and work, and that'd be great because we could, you know, we can add to the local economy, we can help people. And my specialty is profit acceleration. I help companies grow. We look at how to optimize profits in companies. And there's a lot of people who can work from their laptop around the world, and why not Kenya? Bell's sentiments are a timely endorsement of Kenya's tourism sector, and the magic continues, despite the COVID-19 pandemic.